DaVinci Resolve for noobs. One of the things I get asked about a lot is how to get your vocal to sound better. And one of the tools that I think often gets overlooked is the multi-band compressor. Now this particular one comes free inside of DaVinci Resolve. And if you wanted to find it, you would hit the plus button on the track that you're trying to work with. Go down to Dynamics, Fairlight, and you'll see it right here, Multiband Compressor. And for those of you who understand what a compressor is, it basically takes a signal and it tries to squeeze it down so that the loudest parts are pushed down a little bit and the quieter parts are made a little bit louder. But a multiband compressor actually breaks down your audio by frequencies. And in this case, it breaks it down into four different regions. And if I were to play through this audio and only activate each region, you would see that these are your lowest frequencies and I can solo them right here like we get approached from companies that sell these are your mid lows like we get approached from companies that sell wall these are your mid highs like we get approached from companies that sell and these are your super highs like we get approached from companies that sell this is what the clip sounds like with my multiband compressor turned off. And some of them are pretty funny. Like we get approached from companies that sell wallets. And this is what it sounds like with it turned on. And some of them are pretty funny. Like we get approached from companies that sell wallets. That little white line represents the actual frequency response of the vocal that we're listening to. And you can see the frequencies in this area are the ones that are getting pushed the most. The threshold basically sets the level. Anything above this setting is going to get reduced. The gain is is going to boost the compressed signal back out so that you get the output level that you're looking for. The ratio is going to decide how much compression is going to be applied to the threshold. The limit is going to create a ceiling that prevents that band from ever going above a certain set level sort of like a hard stop. The attack is how quickly the compression is going to kick in, and then the release is gonna be how long that compressor keeps holding on after the signal falls back down below the threshold. Now I know that sounds confusing, but it makes a little more sense when you see it in real time. Now you can see that red line compression moving up and down. If I take the threshold and raise it up, you'll see that that line no longer moves because the threshold has been raised much higher. The ratio is how much compression, and if I take the ratio way down, you'll see that that line doesn't move that much. The limit again creates a hard stop so I can drop that limit down to almost nothing and it's really static or I can open up that limit and it's going to start acting to really squash it once it hits a certain level. Now you can also grab these divider bars and choose where these division sections happen. Each one of these sections correlates to the controls below, but these lines basically just decide where the divider line is between the lows, the mid lows, the mid highs, and the highs. And it's completely up to you to decide where to set these controls so that your particular audio sounds good because no two different pieces of audio are ever going to need the exact same type of compression applied or any kind of EQ for that matter.